Welcome to the Houston Methodist Cabbage and Valve Discharge Teaching Medication video. This video is designed to provide guidance for teaching discharge medications for your cabbage and valve patients. Hello, my name is Kaylee and I'm a clinical pharmacist here at Houston Methodist mm -hmm. and I'm going to teach you about your heart medications. Okay. Your doctor is sending you home on some new medications uh, that I want to discuss with you. I would like to go over each one of them with you, answer your questions, and make sure that you know how to safely take them once you go home. Okay. I will provide you with some printed information and then we'll go over your discharge uh, medication schedule as well. First, let's go over the medication schedule from your discharge paperwork. This first section here provides a list of new medications and we'll go over them individually. The next section are actually medications that you were taking at home that we didn't make any changes to. The third section here are medications uh, that you were taking at home but we have changed since you came into the hospital. And then the last section here will be medications that you will stop after you go home. Your doctor has also prescribed a type of medicine called a statin. Now there are several different brands of statins and each are slightly different. Your statin may be resuvastatin, atorvastatin, pravastatin, simvastatin, pitavastatin, lovastatin, or fluvastatin. And statins actually help to reduce the level of cholesterol in your blood and lower your chance of a heart attack or death. You'll take your statin just one time a day with or without food and it can be taken along with your other medications. Possible side effects include indigestion, muscle aches and pains, diarrhea, and nausea. Talk to your doctor if you have unexplained muscle pains, tenderness, weakness, fever, decreased urine production, or dark tea colored urine. Do avoid excessive amounts of alcohol and grapefruits or grapefruit juice while you're taking a statin. Mm -hmm. Routine laboratory monitoring will be done by your regular healthcare provider to make sure you are hitting your lipid goals. I just had heart surgery. Doesn't that decrease my risk for a heart attack? Yes, it does. You do have improved blood flow to your heart muscle by the new bypasses, but you still have to take care of those bypasses by controlling risk factors like your cholesterol. Um, this lowers your chance of blockages forming in the new bypasses and maintaining a healthy lifestyle is just as important after heart surgery. I understand. I don't want to go through this again. I do want to make sure that we have the correct pharmacy on file so that your prescriptions can be sent electronically. Is this correct? Yes, it's correct. Okay, good. So some pain medications require a paper prescription that you take to the pharmacy to have filled. Please ask your nurse if you have one of these prescriptions because you'll need to take it to the pharmacy to be filled. Okay, I can do that today because I'm going to go pick up my prescriptions anyway. So now that we've reviewed all of your medications, let's review the schedule in your discharge paperwork. This schedule shows a list of all the medications you should be taking and the times of the day that you should be taking them. As we go down this list, let me know if there's any medications you're not familiar with. Okay. Take the time to review the medication schedule with your patient and answer their questions and concerns. Confusion about medications is a common complaint from patients and it can increase their risk of readmission. Taking the time to review the medications now can help prevent complications and non-compliance. I do want to make sure that you understand what each medication is for and how to safely take it at home. Can you tell me when you're supposed to take your Plavix and what it is for? Okay, according to this, I take the Plavix once a day in the morning and it's a blood thinner to keep my blood flowing through my new bypasses. Exactly. It's important to assess your patient's level of understanding by using the teach back method. Asking open-ended questions will help you determine any gaps in learning. For your safety, it is important that you take your medications as prescribed by your doctor. If you have any questions or concerns, please do call your doctor. Do you have any questions right now about your medications? No, ma'am, I think you've covered everything. And if I do have questions, I'll call the doctor. Oh, wonderful. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you and thank you for choosing Houston Methodist. Nice meeting you too. Thank you.